So here at Ablecation.com, I wanted to give you guys a quick intro to Max for Live and what it's all about. Max for Live is a programming environment that you can use inside of Ableton Live to make your own instruments, audio effects, video effects, MIDI effects, anything that you could possibly think of you can create with Max for Live. Now there's a lot of interesting things happening with Max for Live because Max for Live was built by Max, which is a programming environment used to make computer programs. So now that they have Max for Live, they're, you're seeing a lot of programmers that are now getting into Ableton and making music, and you see a lot of people that are in Ableton uh, that are now programming inside of Max for Live. So it's created this really interesting multimedia creative uh, community. And if you go to maxforlive.com, you can actually download devices that other people have made and use for free. Along with that, Max for Live comes with a lot of devices that you can use right out of the box. You don't have to know how to program to use these devices. So they're just ready to go. Now, one of, the, um, one of the devices we're going to be using today is the Envelope Follower, which is very interesting. We'll get into that in a second. Um, and I'm also using these video effects here made by Zeal, which is the visible pack. Um, I'll give a link to his webpage and to these uh, video effects in the description. Um, really, really cool effects. Um, really, really interesting. The first one that I have here is the grabber which is allowing me to pull the feed off of my iPod touch and see view it here in Ableton and I'm using the iWeb camera app which is a couple bucks um, you can also check the uh, the description for a link to that uh, the next which I'm gonna go ahead and turn on is a video effect here um, which we are going to be assigning some stuff to this and then we also have the viewer which just allows me to view all this video stuff here in Ableton so the uh, one thing that we're going to use here is the envelope follower and this is the one that comes with Max for Live. Now what this does is it takes an incoming audio feed and lets you map that according to how loud it is to a parameter in Ableton. So I'm going to go ahead and I have this uh, little, little keys rack here. I'm going to click the map button on the envelope follower and I'm going to map that to our saturation here on our video effect. So now, when I play my keys over here, you can see that the, uh, the video actually reacts to that sound. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So um, then here on the kick drum, I, um, I'm going to map this to the brightness. And on the snare, we're going to map this to the... Uh, contrast and now we're just gonna have a little fun um, and play some stuff here we go Sweet, so you can kind of see some of the uh, creative possibilities with Max for Live and Ableton. Uh, this is really just a little, little piece of what you can do with this software. I just wanted to show you um, a little bit of what can be done with it. Uh, we'll have plenty more videos on how to use more devices. Um, there's so many, so many, so many cool things that are coming out for Max for Live. People that are posting up their own uh, presets and devices that are just like crazy, crazy awesome. So. Uh, stay posted, subscribe, rate, um, and check out ablecation.com. See ya.